The British government has admitted issuing licenses that would have allowed the sale to Syria of chemicals that could be used to make nerve gas. London gave the permission last January when Syria was already ravaged by civil war. Oti Sarafat has the details. Business Secretary Vince Cable certainly uh, going to be facing some tough questions uh, over these revelations that the British government had granted uh, export licenses to an un yet, as yet unnamed uh, British company. Now, this was for uh, substances to be sent to uh, Syria, and it was for two so-called dual-use substances, and that was potassium fluoride and sodium fluoride, and both those agents can be used as precursor chemicals uh, in the manufacture of nerve gas. Now, those export licenses granted by uh, the Department for Business, uh, Innovation and Skills, uh, it's reported in January the 17th and 18th, uh, and that license uh, valid for six months uh, in 2012, as you mentioned, when the Syria, uh, civil war in Syria was uh, already raging. Uh, and so huge concerns over the fact that those export licenses were ever granted in the first place and some big questions remaining. Now, the department uh, has come back and said that uh, it had, had assessed uh, over whether there was a risk that that could uh, be used for internal repression. Uh, they said that they felt the export license was correctly granted uh, and uh, that also they'd accepted assurances from the exporting company that these chemicals uh, could be used for the manufacture of uh, window frames in, in industrial processes. But as we said, uh, those chemicals can also so be used uh, as precursor chemicals in the creation of the types of nerve agents that we've seen the British government uh, accusing the Syrian government of having used on its own people. There's huge concern anyway about uh, the suspected chemical weapons stockpiles in the country. I think we've got a, a map of some of the suspected sites there. Of course, huge concern about uh, what uh, the Syrian government could potentially be doing with those chemical weapons, but of course also that some of those sites where it's thought there are chemical weapons stockpiles could fall into the wrong hands as the situation gets ever more complex on the ground in that country. But it's thought here today there are going to be uh, questions at uh, tables in Parliament to uh, really uh, run through and scrutinise exactly how uh, these licences for chemical weapons, uh, for chemical agents that could be used in the types of weapons that uh, the Syrian government are being accused of using on their own people, were granted uh, for a British company to send to Syria.